the Jumhuria Bank has seen better days. What you see here are the effects of an economic crisis following two years of widespread oil field and port closures. The crises of liquidity have hit the Libyan economy and especially the banking sector. First, because of the stoppage of oil exports caused by the closure of oil fields and ports, which affected Libya's revenue from selling oil. Libya today produces fewer than 400,000 barrels of oil a day, almost a quarter of the oil production levels prior to the ousting of the Gaddafi regime. The resulting drop in the nation's revenues has meant that business owners have lost faith in the banking sector. Unfortunately, the businessmen have declined to deposit any local currency they get from their businesses, selling products and providing services. They refuse to deposit because they won't receive a line of credit, as it won't be possible because of lack of foreign currency in accounts abroad which come from oil revenues. If the situation worsens, the country could lose its contracts with foreign companies. The national budget and the government's ability to pay civil servants would also be severely impacted. The only way to solve this is to get the oil taps flowing again. The liquidity crisis will end after the political agreement and the opening of the oil fields and oil ports for oil exportation. Thirdly, to open the line of credit or cash transfers that businessmen demand to import products and services. People have now taken to stashing cash at home or at work and vendors are seeing the liquidity crisis firsthand. The people do not have cash to trade with. The responsible authorities should feel the suffering of the people in this liquidity crisis. And there are some people who do not have money to feed themselves, sadly. This is regrettable. With no end to the conflict in sight and with the liquidity crisis becoming even more and more pronounced, closed banks and empty banking halls will soon become even more commonplace in Libya. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.